Hi, folks. I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Together we have the most famous physical therapist on the Internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Brad, is your knee pain, or anybody's knee pain, is really coming from a meniscus tear or from a ligament sprain? How to tell? That's a good question. Yeah. And as a matter of fact, some people, you know, I, I think you really need to understand the mechanics, and it's very, not, it's not that complicated right. unless you dissect it a little bit. Well, that's what we're here for. We're going to help dissect it. Exactly. So, Say no more, Is it more, dissect Bob. or dissect? <laughs> Never mind. Say no more, Bob. <laughs> Don't get, I'm not an English major. Yeah, all right. <laughs> All right. So Bob. are we going to look at the ligaments first? Well, yeah, let's look at the ligaments first because so many people jump right to the meniscus, I think, because uh, so I'm not sure it's just more popularly used or something of that right. nature. But if it is a ligament, you so know. So someone hurt their knee and they're wondering, is it the ligament, is it the meniscus, or right. is it just muscle, or is it... And, so, and oftentimes it's, you know, people here at the ACL, which right. is one of the four major ligaments of the knee. We want to know about all four of them. Right. Okay. So let, let's, uh, here we've got uh, our knee here that we took from Bonaparte, Leopold. Leop. Now you got me saying Napoleon. <laughs> Napoleon. Napoleon okay. Bonaparte. So here we got the knee. Now here's. You want me to hold anything? No, I, well, so far I'm doing good. I'm going to take the patella off. So that's the kneecap. Yep. He's taking that right off. Yep. Just get that out of the way so we can look in there. Okay. Now we're going to look at the. So this is uh, the left leg. Mm -hmm. Here's the femur. And here's the knee right here for me. Right. I, can yep. see. I think they can see that. And huh? down here is the foot, obviously. Yeah. So we're going to focus in right on the knee. And here you can see how this how the knee bends. Now, if you look at the blue kinesio tape we used here, because it works well for this, those are your. This would be your MCL, your medial lateral ligament. Medial collateral ligament. And your LCL, lateral. Lateral collateral ligament. Okay. Now, the ACL and the, and the PCL are in inside. Here, yeah. Yep. And I don't, it was really hard. To, it's hard to put tape to represent those. So we're going to show you how to test them. Yeah, they're inside and they, make, they form an X. Yep. So. And uh, so you'll see that more clearly as we show you the test. Now, for these uh, ligaments, you can see they support... Lateral motion. So this one, your leg cannot go this way. Now, this tape is actually stretchy. Now, your ligaments, are they don't stretch at all. Right. They're, they're very strong, and they're attached to the bone, and it prevents this from happening or this from happening. Okay? So, and then the, the ACL and the PCL. Bob, I've got one little thing here to do, and while I do that, why don't you mention... All right. By the way, if you are new on our channel, please just take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on how to stay healthy, fit, and pain-free, and we upload every day. The subscription button should be up here or, or down here. And by the way, if you haven't liked us on Facebook, you're going to want to like us, right, Brad? We're likable yeah, people. Yeah, please like us. Um, because well, I'm in likable. I don't know about Bob. Well, <laughs> anyway, we're put a half a like. We're giving away stuff all the time, and, and right now I'm going to put up a picture, a photo, and it's the uh, Napo Memory Foam Lumbar Support Pillow Slash Cushion. It's for low back pain relief for home, office, and car use. And uh, we're going to be giving away three of these, Brad. Can you believe that? Yeah, that's a good deal. And uh, we're going to do that over the next week or so. So all you're going to have to do is go in and, and like the picture, uh, and and uh, and you're in the contest. We make it very simple. Excellent. So, Excellent. All right, Bob. now we're back. Okay, so we talked about the support of the MCL and the LCL, which support the knee this way. Now if you look at the knee from the side view, we need support. So the knee doesn't slip forward, forward or, back. or backwards. So the ACL is responsible for forward. this direction. Yeah. So it doesn't allow this to come off, and then you're, right. <laughs> you would have a big problem. You get short in a hurry. And then the PCL, posterior uh, cruciate Collect ligament, cruciate ligament. Cruciate. Right. Yeah. <laughs> prevents it from going this way. So we got support this way, and we've got support this way. And now that I've got the knee apart, Bob, we might as well look at the meniscus right sure. away. So those are the four ligaments. That, that, you know, that's the problem. There's only four ligaments holding the knee together, and that's why each one is so crucial. Exactly. So, exactly. So then we got the, the cushions between the joints, right? Right, which is, we're calling them. Oh, between the bones. Between the bones, which is your meniscus. And the meniscus is attached to the tibia, the lower part. And I've got it red here. In, in real life, it's actually white. Okay, but this shows up much better. And you got the lateral side and the medial aspect of the meniscus. And it's shaped, they're shaped kind of like lateral this. Lateral and medial. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I've got the, the leg mixed up. Yeah. But they're shaped kind of like a horseshoe. 
and actually, if I would have did a better job cutting my construction paper, you would see that here. But the big thing is, is you know where they are, and when they come together, that that's now we can't put them together like that underneath um, because well, we, we have like that. There you go. The femur actually squishes down on there, and yep. there's a cushion between the two bones, and that's part of the job of the meniscus. So, so you can see if one of these gets torn, and it even flips up like this. Yeah. It's going to block the motion, yep. and and uh, it's it's going to be painful, right? And, that's what, and your and the knee's not going to be able to move. Exactly. And that's what some of the tests are designed to pull out. Very good. So, let's go to the. Why don't you lay down, Bob? Sure. I'm going to grab a pillow. Yeah, grab a pillow. Take you, a nap. you never seem to be worried about my comfort, Brad. No, nope, not really. Not that I'm complaining. <laughs> but I'm not that. Go ahead, lay down. I'm not that way with my patients, Bob. <laughs> I care about them. Okay, let's bring this leg up once. All right. Okay. Now I'm gonna do show you the test on the LCL and the MCL. You want to so, grab that again, Bob? So those are the ligaments on the side. Right. The side ligaments. These tests are relatively easy to do, but they take a feel. And we're the knees here. We want to test to make see if it's you know, structurally sound in that direction. Uh, they're easy, to, relatively easy to do, but if you haven't done this on a, a number of legs, you don't have the right feel. Right, so right. I'm going to demonstrate it to you. I don't suggest that you do it, but when you go and see a therapist or a doctor, you're going to know why they're doing it and understand it. And maybe even ask for them to do it. Exactly. Yeah. Why don't you come over this way, Bob? I always like to have my patient get close to the edge. I bring their leg off. I have them relax. I put a slight bend in the knee. And what I'm going to do here, let me get over here. I don't uh, do it this way, but so you can see what I'm doing. One hand is here and one hand is here and I slightly bend the knee and I'm going to pull in on the knee here and support here and go like this. And actually, I can, you won't be able to see this, but I can feel there's some play in Bob's knee. You feel that, Bob? Yeah, a little bit. It's kind of fun. Now that's the LCL, the outside one. Now I'm going to do the same test. I'm going to push this direction while I support the knee with a slight bend in it, about 10 degrees. And it is kind of neat and, and there's not a lot of effort, it's very little strength needed. If someone has a complete tear of one of these ligaments, like my instructor said, it's like a barn door opening wide up. You can do this and you don't feel that, that, resistance. that resistance. The best way to do this, if you've got a sore knee on the right, test the good knee first. Get exactly. A, get a feel for how they are on the good knee, then you'll know and more, you know, if two knees are healthy, they're going to feel similar. And if you got a complete tear, it's going to be pretty obvious. Maybe a little painful too. And these tests should not create any amount of pain. If they are, you don't do them. Right. Um, now let's go to the ACL and PCL. Sure. Okay. I mean, there's a number of ways to do this. I'm just going to show you uh, two simple ways. I have the patient sit or lay down like this, and then I sit right on their foot right here, and I'm going to bring your pant leg up, Bob, so we can look at your knee. You, you so again, he's just he's pulling that, that lower bone forward. Exactly, yeah. We'll look at this. So I can hold this part. Yeah. I'm going to pull his tibia this way. If the ACL is uh, torn, I'm going to get quite a bit of motion, yeah. yeah. Subluxation this way, and I'm going to go the other direction to test the PCL, okay? Now, they call it the anterior drawer because it's like you're pulling out a drawer. Exactly. Yeah. And anterior means forward right. direction. And sometimes right here, I'll push my finger, my thumbs in right along the joint line, which is just below the, the kneecap, which takes a little practice to know where that is too. So don't expect you can feel that. And then I'm going to come under here, put my thumbs on the joint line so I can feel the translation between the joint, and I'm going to pull this way. And, and you know, Bob doesn't have a lot of place. Some people that are lax, you can do this and they'll go, you can feel that bone move and it kind of goes clunk, clunk, and you that's all, normal. You can almost see it even. Yeah, exactly. Again, do the good knee first, you go to the, then you go back to the, the knee, the injured knee, and assess carefully. And then you're gonna push this direction on the tibia, this way, and push. And you know, I don't know if I've ever seen a PCL because they're not that common. No, they aren't. I, um, I haven't, to be honest. Actually, with you. I think I did once when I was a student, and that was a long time uh. ago. Um, then you can push in this direction, and the translation will go this way, but it's going to be solid this way. There's a lot, I'm not going to go through the Lachman's. It's common one. Right. It's probably more commonly used by therapists and doctors, but we're going to skip that because sure. I want to get to the meniscus tests. Now, if, if everything feels similar on both sides, you're thinking, well, I'm clear. And after you do these, 
for You're a while, for the you can whip through these tests pretty quickly. Yep, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Now the meniscus, why don't you stay down, Bob? All right. Uh, these are the meniscus tests I do laying down, and I think they're a little harder to do for the average person. I wouldn't recommend it, but I'm just going to show them to you so that you know uh, what may be done in the clinic. Sure. Um, why don't you put this leg down? Do you ever do the McMurray's? Yep. Okay. Absolutely. So we start here, and we do a rotate and push in one direction. Yep. And, and the person needs to be relaxed. And, and that's, getting, that's checking the lateral meniscus. Yep. Yep. And here, and then we go the opposite direction there. So I'm making a kind of a circle with his knee in over his other leg. And then we're going to do the same thing out this way and let it drop. And I usually put my fingers on the joint line. Right in here. Yep, yep. So I can feel whether or not to be there's honest any with clicking. You, I don't have a good feel for this one. I like the Apley's test, which I'll do next. Sure. The, well, the other one that uh, is the, the drop test. Right. Where you just keep let it go straight in, and then the patient or you have to relax. And right. And just plop it down like that. And you're expecting pain. Right. Yep. And this one, have you used this one? I have not. Yep. Oh, I know we demonstrated this yep. one before. Yep. And I don't use this one either. I really it doesn't hurt if you have a good knee. I, I like mean, the weight-bearing ones in this Apley one. I like because there's some weight right. weight-bearing I put. Do you want to lay on your stomach, Bob? Sure. Okay. So normally on this one, let's put this leg down. I'll roll up a towel and put it right here to keep the kneecap from banging into the uh, the table or not banging but pushing into it. it's uncomfortable or I'll have the person lay down slide down to the edge of the table I'm not going to do that because I don't want to get out of the end of the screen so we're going to pretend I've got that towel roll there and I'll push down rotate the knee in and come this way and then I'll rotate the toe the other direction push down and push 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 it'll lock up it'll be painful and if if it feels as good as the other leg again do the good leg first you know that's a negative sign if you feel pain or some locking, it's a positive sign. Okay, Bob, let's get up and let's do one more, a couple more. Yeah, why don't we show ones that, that you could do yourself pretty easily. Yeah, these, these, these are, yeah. okay. And the, the Fisley test, that, that's that name that, yeah, <laughs> I'm not sure if I've got that right. right. But this is the, the, disco, right. the disco test. You just, if you face that way, Bob, sure. and I'll face this way, let's do it on our left leg. You're gonna stand on your left leg. You bend the knee a little bit. About five degrees. And you're twisting. And if that hurts, yeah, we can. We should bring Julian here and see if it hurts yeah. on her. She's got a bad knee. And, and then you can go down to 15 degrees, which is a little bit more. But you know, you're not going way down this far on this test. So, yeah. and it's again that twisting. All you're doing is really taking that grinding the patella together, or the meniscus together. Exactly. Matter of fact, my friend, this is a test I used on him, and uh, he was positive on both this one and the next one, which is the uh, the duck walk. Yeah, yeah. And so we were like this. Yeah. And like toes rotate out, bend the knees down in a deep squat, and you try to walk. Yeah, and believe me, you're grinding the knee on that one. Yeah. So. Or you can do it with the toes pointed in. And he tested positive on both these standing he ones. Did. And we did it right in his office. And I said, you should get to a doctor. He did. He had meniscus. He had surgery already. Next, actually, he's rehabbing wow. it right yeah. now. So, so yeah, it, it works well, that test. Easy to do on your own. So Exactly. So. All right, folks, thanks for watching. Good uh, luck with those knees, whether it's yeah. ACL, PCL, or meniscus, or, you know, the other thing, Bob, that we've really been working on, and this is more important than the knee, is that broken heart. Broken heart. There you go. We'll get, we'll get on it. Yeah. Thanks.